Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I am your host Jonathan Parkinson and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create some custom icons for your toolbars you see I have up here, such as the Gmail, uh, Chrome web browser, whatever you're trying to look for. It's actually quite simple to do. Uh, you're going to need the Chrome browser first, so if you do not have that you want to make sure you install that. You can just head on over to google.com and you should be able to download that directly. Now. What you're going to need to do is actually open up the Chrome browser. Once you open up the Chrome browser, you're going to find some of the applications that you do already have downloaded. If you do not have any applications downloaded yet, you want to head over to the Chrome store. The web address for the Chrome store is as following. Now once you have that typed in your browser and you get on over here, you can go through here and you can find some of the applications through the categories that you need to add to your, add to your list. So once that is done, you can open up a new tab and it should show you some of the apps that you do have saved and installed onto your Chrome browser. And then all you need to do from there is simply right click and create shortcut. Now we will add a shortcut to the desktop. As you see now, it's right there. And then all you need to do is drag and drop it to the XFC panel. Now if you do not have an XFC panel set up, and you have something like the Cario dock, it should work as well. But if not, and you're trying to figure out how to do that and you want to do it through the XFC panel, I'll have a link in the description showing you how to set that up. Now there is another way. If you do not want it into your desktop or you don't want to even set it up into your bar, and you'd rather have it in your applications menu, such as the Chromium app section that I have here. Yours might be called the Chrome app section, depending on what version of the web browser you do have downloaded. All you need to do is again right click one of the icons, go to create shortcuts, and instead check the desktop and check the applications menu. So we will correct that right there, go back into the Chromium apps, and there's Google Calendar. And that's all you need to do to set up your custom icons within the Google Chrome web browser so you can use them, easy to click. Another helpful tip is if you come into, let's example, go back to the calendar, and we'll open up as a window. So now when we come back over here and I go to Chromium Maps and I click on the calendar, it's going to pop up in its own window. So this is a probably a good idea for things such as the calendar, maybe your Gmail, uh, even possibly Google Docs depending, or even Google Drive depending on how you're kind of going about things. Uh, if you want to open up as a pin tab, you know you right click, stick it as a pin tab and that's all, that's all you need to really do. Again, thanks for watching.